In this video, I'm bringing you the ultimate guide to create incredible anime artwork using Niji 5. We will explore how to join Niji Journey Discord or use it on Mid Journey. We'll deep dive into the different styles of Niji like default, cute, expressive and scenic and learn how and where to use each one. You will master everything related to Mid Journey Niji, which includes anime styles, manga authors, anime artists, characters, environment and retro eras. Starting with an existing image, you will learn to create an anime version that truly resembles you. With the help of ChatGPT, you will craft compelling mid-journey prompts that incorporate style elements and parameters. At the end of this video, we will merge AI photography with Niji style to create Niji photos and you will learn how to create a piece of manga or comic book with consistent characters using mid-journey. Mid-journey, in collaboration with the anime indie game and artificial intelligence developer Spellbrush, presented something truly special. A gift to all anime fans, called Niji. In Japanese, Niji means rainbow or 2D. Niji model designed specifically with an anime aesthetic in mind and it's fine-tuned to produce anime and illustrative styles with vastly more knowledge of the anime universe. It's excellent at generating dynamic action shots and character-focused compositions in general. There are two ways to use Niji. First, you can add the Niji 5 parameter to your prompts on the Mid-Journey Discord. If you want this parameter to be added as a default option, you can enable Niji mode by using the settings command. Niji journey on the other hand refers to the Niji discord server which has its own bot. I shared the link to Niji discord in the description below. Messaging the Niji journey bot will yield the same result as messaging the mid journey bot with the command Niji 5. When you join the Niji journey discord, you'll see that everything works the exact same way as the mid journey discord. When you add Niji 5 as a parameter to your prompts, this refers to the default anime style. For the majority of the anime artwork you want to design, the default style will be more than sufficient. However, Niji also offers three additional styles, each specifically trained for certain use cases. Style Cute capitalizes heavily on the classic anime aesthetic. The images are less provocative, emphasizing harmonious poses and traditional cultural spirit. It's excellent for crafting classic anime. Let's look at the details of this style. Cute features and eye styles to make adorable faces. A delicate, flat shading scheme that makes the image look soft and simple. Use of negative space to make the make the subject of the image really stand out. This is used to remove distractions. Emphasis on intricate graphic details for robust composition. These little details make the whole picture look more interesting and full of life. To use this style, you can add style cute parameter to your prompt. Style expressive is notable for consistently placing the character in the main focus. The textures are often very detailed, whereas the background is solid but does not overshadow the character. It's excellent for creating detailed character models. According to Niji Journey, the expressive style is for creating anime with a more mature and western aesthetic. This new style offers more realistic eye styling experience, natural skin appearance, 3D graphics which gives the impression of substance and weight, high chroma for a rich, warm look in the artwork. To use the this style, you can style expressive to your prompt. Here is a bonus tip for you. If you want extremely detailed fashion outfits in your AI photography, you can use Niji expressive parameter together with fashion photography in your prompt. Notice the comparison here, when we apply Niji Expressive for same prompt outfit looks much more detailed and cool in AI photography. Style Scenic always creates a backdrop. The characters were between cute and expressive, however, the clear focus was the interaction between the character and the environment. It's excellent for producing more cinematic images. Scenic is an amazing choice for people looking to create stunning backgrounds. It can be used to craft amazing visuals for comic books, postcards, posters, or any other project that requires vibrant scenes. According to Niji Journey, the scenic style creates breathtaking backgrounds and powerful character moments, like a scene straight from a movie. Scenic zooms out to showcase more of the environment and enhance the story. Scenic focuses on character integration with backgrounds, using strong silhouettes for balance. Similar to default, Scenic uses a contemporary anime facial design, Uses expressive 3D lighting for realistic light and shadow to create stunning backgrounds. Uses cute graphic elements for balanced compositions. To use it, add Style Scenic to your mid-journey prompts. Let's compare the same prompt across different Niji styles. The default style focuses on providing an emotional, yet elegant look. The scenic style keeps the fundamental visual design of the default style but directs the viewer's eyes to the background details. The scenic style does not embrace the western aesthetic of the expressive style but utilizes the same 3D graphics to create a sense of weight. Scenic style does not use the cute eye styles or flat shading scheme but does put emphasis on the intricate details to make the whole picture look more full of life. With expressive mode, we can always generate images that come with a more cool and dramatic look. 
Cute Style took a different approach and attempted to create something that was truly fun and endearing. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. The default Niji and Mid Journey styles are gorgeous. The problem is they're also quite generic. Use the stylize command to get more interesting variations. The range is 0 to 1000 and the default value is 100. In my explorations I get the best result around 250 and 500 but it really depends on your own taste. If you want to increase dramatic impact of your images you can play with amount of details, lighting and camera controls. Here you can see few comparison for the original prompt if you want to get some ideas on the impact of individual keywords. Besides these I did not realize a big difference for some keywords like high or low angle especially for camera controls. Adding anime styles to your prompts elevates your Niji images because it adds a unique touch to the artwork. To achieve this you can add style name to your prompt. Here are few example styles I like to use. You can find more of these styles in the Niji style guide. Link is in the description and in the comment pinned down below. Quick reminder, Niji 5 model has a strong art direction and it's fine tuned for certain art style. If you want to achieve some of these anime styles please use Niji version 4 instead of 5. Notice how adding retro or a certain era makes a big difference. And you can try to use retro anime as keyword or just include some decade or specific year in your prompt. I noticed that for 80 seconds type of retro anime art, Niji 4 does better job than Niji 5. You can also go to more of a futuristic direction with amazing translucent clothing and cyberpunk of course. Try these keywords. Manga is a popular form of art originating from Japan, known for its distinct style of drawing characters. It offers a wide variety of genres, making it an easily accessible source of entertainment for people in Japan. Manga authors, often referred to as mangoka, have etched their unique imprints in the realm of graphic storytelling. These authors not only craft immersive narratives but also often infuse them with distinct anime styles, enhancing their Niji images. Here are a few examples from my favorites. Firstly, Aikiro Oda, because One Piece is one of the most iconic mangas. Secondly, Kentaro Miura. He passed away recently and was unable to complete his epic series Berserk. We can honor him through this artwork. In the vibrant world of manga and anime, characters stand as the heart of the narrative. From courageous protagonists to menacing antagonists, each character is brought to life with distinctive anime styles in their Niji images. The incorporation of well-known character names in your prompts adds a unique touch to these figures, enhancing their visual appeal while resonating with audiences. All AI anime models use Danboru database images for a lot of their training data, so Danboru's tag counts are a good way to check whether or not Niji can generate a character. In my explorations I discovered these character names provide quite consistent styles to your AI artwork if you mention them in your prompts. I added these character names and more to Niji style guide ready for you to use in your own artwork. In the world of anime and manga, artists play a crucial role in bringing stories to life. They use their creative prowess to incorporate various anime styles into their Niji images, adding a unique touch to their artwork. If you want to use some of these artist names in your prompts you can take a look at the Niji style guide. Titles in the world of manga, anime and video games serve as gateways to diverse universes, each filled with captivating characters and intricate plots. These titles often include anime styles in their Niji images, which bring an element of uniqueness and artistic flair to the forefront. You can find more of these anime and video game titles with unique art styles in the Niji style guide. The environment in manga and anime is more than just a backdrop, it's an integral component that shapes the story and the character's experiences. Whether it's a bustling cityscape or a rural setting, adding these environments to Niji images provides a unique touch to the artwork. It especially improves scenic style prompts since scenic style is specifically trained for detailed backdrops. You can combine some of the artists I mentioned before with these environment names to create insane anime AI art. In your Niji artworks, you can use a wide variety of artistic mediums with their unique styles, from oil painting to Japanese woodblock prints, graphic novels, or faded pastels. One of the most common questions I get is how to use your own photo as a reference image to create AI art. Today, I will demonstrate the best method to accomplish this. First, I will upload this image to Meet Journey Discord. Then, I will right-click on it and copy the image URL. I will use this image URL as an image prompt and add the Niji parameter, but this alone is insufficient for impressive results. Unlike some other AI art generators, Meet Journey doesn't use image prompts as a starting point but rather as an inspirational target. That's why we also need a detailed text prompt. For this, best method is to use the describe command for your original photo. This will enhance and reinforce our image prompt when combined with anime style aesthetic keywords. At this step, you can of course change your subject via text prompt to different outfits, to styles or scenes. As the last step, I'm copying and pasting this description from describe to my final prompt. 
and adding is a still from anime is keyword to reinforce my image. Here is the result. Another cool thing we can do is to merge AI photography with Niji style. Our purpose here is to borrow realistic environment elements from photography while elevating our character with anime style. I call this Niji Photo Fusion. And I want to say thanks to Madero for inspiring me with this method. Link to his profile is in the description. Trying regular blend command will not work here to give us desired results. Therefore, we need a different solution. I will begin with creating a photo realistic image. This will become our reference image and we will use seed for this image throughout the process. In second step, I use image1 as image prompt. I remove v5.1 and raw parameters and replace it with niji5. I use same seed as image1 and the rest of the prompt stays the same. As you can see, it didn't make a huge difference. Next, I added a Niji style. I tend to go for scenic because it delivers nice results. Now things will get interesting. I changed original prompt to digital gesture painting of, rather than photo realism prompt. I removed any reference to cameras or photography from prompt. Rest of the prompt stays the same. In the final step, I changed digital gesture painting of and made it manga or anime image of, and rest of the prompt stays the same. Here is the final result. Let me know in the comments if you like Niji photos. Another common question I get is about using ChatGPT for mid-journey prompting. Here, I will guide you through the process, step by step. The biggest advantage that ChatGPT brings to mid-journey prompting is its ability to generate so many alternative prompts, each with vibrant descriptions in a very short time. First, I will ask ChatGPT to give me 10 ideas for a scene with the subject of a woman on the street. Here, ChatGPT brings interesting scenes like a theatrical street performer or witness to a crime. Not just those, but there are also more regular ideas. This variety is great for us. Next, I will use this prompt for cinematic descriptions of every scene. I want ChatGPT to act as an experienced anime director and write short keywords and adjectives for every subject from above. Now I have scenes, but they need to be in the right format for mid-journey. I will use this prompt for correcting the format and adding Niji parameter for every scene. I like the first prompt, so I will copy and paste this to mid-journey, and here is the result. If you're a ChatGPT Plus user, there is a quicker way to write mid-journey prompts. Currently, OpenAI is rolling out web browsing mode. We will use browsing mode by asking ChatGPT to learn how to write great mid-journey prompts by providing this link. You can find this link in the description below. And we will ask for mid-journey prompts, ready to copy-paste for the subject, a dog in the space. Here is our prompt, written completely by ChatGPT with minimum guidance by a human. Here's how you can create consistent characters for an AI-assisted comic book using the mid-journey platform. Begin by creating a prompt to describe your character. To ensure consistency, we will create something called a character sheet. This prompt includes additional details such as multiple poses and expressions and isolated on a white background. It can be used to generate a variety of character sheets that present your character in different ways. If you need to create a really specific expression or body posture, you can use remix mode and change expression or movement of character. This method isn't always reliable for bigger project. Once you have your character sheets, the next step is to remove the backgrounds. You can use free online tools like Pixelbin for this job. Now that you have your characters, it's time to generate some backgrounds. Of course, environments must fit to the storyline you imagined. Keep in mind that you can use ChatGPT to write the story based on your synopsis. And then ask ChatGPT to generate scenes, environments and even mid-journey prompts for every environment. The final step involves incorporating your characters into these backgrounds and preparing the final layout. A tool like Photoshop or Canva can be used for this purpose. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. If you want to learn more about art and content creation with AI tools and everything AI related click here.